Hi, everyone. Welcome to the energy update for Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. Uh, so we're going to be under a Leo moon all day that is besieged after uh, op an opposition to Pluto overnight. <clears throat> the Leo moon is just going to be floating through the day on Wednesday, and we will have Mercury conjunct Chiron on Wednesday as well. So you can see here, it's like the middle of the day. This is about I don't know, noonish, if you will. So you can see, and then later on in the evening time, we will have the moon square Jupiter. And I, so I feel like Wednesday is going to be an emotional day. I feel like that opposition to Pluto um, is really going to be bringing out like how we need to be showing up for ourselves during this time. Um, Mercury and Chiron conjunct. Um, if you're feeling really emotional right now as we're leading up to the eclipse, the eclipse is on Monday. The first eclipse of the season, the Libra lunar eclipse is on Monday. And we're going to talk about that. Um, I'll probably do a special video just for the Libra eclipse for Monday this weekend and get it to you guys. But um <clears throat> The Libra eclipse is on Monday. And so everything that's happening right now and leading us up to that Libra eclipse is showing us where <clears throat> we're codependent on certain things in our life, where we are uh, depending, where we're kind of like leaning too far on one side and not leaning enough on another side, how we're showing up for ourselves um, and how we're depending on ourselves to keep moving forward into the future. With Mercury conjunct Chiron, a lot of triggers can happen. A lot of traumas, traumas can come up um, just from having conversations with people. You know, the other person may not even realize that they're triggering you or traumatizing you or bringing up a trauma or something like that in some way. And so you, your reaction, the way that you're reacting towards people is 100% um, what you should be paying attention to right now. Um, and the themes that are coming up, the way that you're feeling about yourself, the way that you're feeling about the existence and the life and the relationships and, you know, this Aries North Node and Libra South Node that we have been, we've had transiting since the middle of last year uh, has been showing us how to advocate, right? We have Chiron and Aries as well, how to advocate for our own well-being um, and doing that, but also at the same time, um, being able to think of other people, you know, and not just completely falling into a selfish phase but not being completely codependent on other people too. So if you're leaning too far to being way ultra independent, um, this energy right now is going to show you how you're being way too ultra independent. And if you're leaning too far on being way too codependent on other people or your environment to make you feel better. And I know where it's coming up for me. I've like shown, I've been shown where it's coming up for me, but um, you know, don't get drugged down by those negative things that are happening in your brain. Allow yourself to see something from a different perspective. Allow yourself to see the traumas that are coming up. Allow yourself to actually look at them and process them. Don't just look at it and be like, oh my God, not again. Like, I don't want to have to deal with this. I don't want to have to process it. I don't want to have to go through all of these again. Um, but they're coming up for a reason, and it's so that there can be space that's opened up, right? And so I do think that if, if Wednesday is an emotional day for you, I do feel like this moon square Jupiter later on in the evening is sort of opening the energy back up, opening the conversations back up, um, you know, just sort of like there, there could be some really big aha moments, but there's also still that challenge and that tension um, to be optimistic as well, right? And, you know, Leo, the Leo moon, we're, we're really, really working with the heart. 
and coming out of this Cancer moon that we're under today, it's Tuesday that I'm doing this video. So coming out of the Cancer moon that was really, really emotional. Um, we have the spring equinox, happy spring. <laughs> the sun is finally in Aries, went into Aries. Um, it'll go into Aries late Tuesday night, really late Tuesday night. It'll be about 1130 Eastern. Um, so we have the spring equinox. And that means that we start gaining daylight from here on out. And that in itself is a joy, you know, like, I don't know about you guys, but when we get into those really, really dark nights and those really, really long dark nights in the middle of winter, it gets tough, like mentally and emotionally, it can get really, really tough. So, um, spring is here and that means that new life is here and what a way to usher in the spring by opening up some energy and we can only do that by really recognizing um, those things that we're still doing to hold ourselves back uh, you might find that people are a little extra on wednesday you could find that people are um not really poignant not very graceful um not very calm <laughs> You like there, I mean, you may find, especially on social media, like don't argue with strangers, period. Um, it's funny. I, I remind people of that all the time. I'm like, social media is, you know, that's not, you don't need to argue with people who don't know who you are. You don't need to argue with people who do know who you are, but you definitely don't need to argue with people who don't know who you are. Um, so we'll have that square to Jupiter and then we'll have a trine to the North node um, where I do really feel like the emotional... Um, language part of everything is really going to be opening up and then later on in the evening that trying to Chiron and Mercury and um, that's what we're going to see overnight is that trying to Chiron and Mercury overnight um, you might find like I would really be paying attention I know I keep saying this to you guys but really pay attention to your dreams right now um, I don't even really remember my dreams very much um, I never really have, like even when I was younger, I don't, you know, every once in a while I'll remember them, but like my entire life, I've never been able to remember my dreams. And even I remembered one the other day, I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's really personal and kind of stupid, but, um, it, but still like really paying attention to what your dreams are telling you right now can help you probably to guide you through the emotional turmoil that this energy like this is going to be a roller coaster of energy right especially because we're looking for the balance and things as we're getting to that libra eclipse so let's get a sacred traveler oracle deck or oracle card for wednesday march 20th i'm like shocked at how fast march is going to be quite honest all of the eclipse readings are going to be up on patreon um Tomorrow, most of them are up now. So if you would like to join us on Patreon and get your eclipse reading, I'm also teaching astrology course, the Astrology 101 course. I've got three classes. There will be a fourth class dropped tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that one's really going pretty good. So in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. That's really funny because I do feel like Wednesday is going to be kind of bumpy. And so I feel like this is a reminder it's a reminder that the suffering that happens inside of us is ours, right? And when we allow ourselves to remember and look at things in a different perspective, and we remember that everything is temporary, first of all, and that the choices that we make in our life, that is what brings us to where we are. So reminding ourselves that we can change that story at any time. We can change that story at any time, despite what's going on outside of us, despite, you know, any of that. We can change that story at any time and get back into the flow. I feel like tomorrow, even if you feel a little bit out of alignment right now, if you feel a little bit um, emotional, if you feel like things are a little bit bumpy or um, it's just a little chaotic right now, I feel like by tomorrow evening, there's going to be more of a flow that's going to be happening and just reminding us 
that even through these bumpy times, things are still happening behind the scenes. The universe is still working on our side. You know, the universe is always on our side. It's always working for us. And getting into alignment is for us, right? When we get into our divine alignment, um, that's when everything feels really, really good. But we have to go through those bumps too. We have to go through those bumps in order to get into that alignment. So love that energy for Wednesday. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out with me. Happy spring. I'll see you guys later. Bye.